Hi, Sufyan here with another on-ship tech tip. When assembling your parts, it is important to ensure that any changes made in your part studios are reflected in your assemblies. Once your parts are ready for assembly, go to the assembly and use the insert command to add them. You can either select individual parts or insert all parts at once by clicking the part studio. In the assembly instances list, each part is listed separately and the connections between them are not maintained as in the part studio. So you will need to reassemble or group them together. Now let's go to the part studio to make some changes and create a new part. Back in the assembly, changes made on the existing part are updated, but the new part didn't show up. That is because each part is referenced independently from the part studio. As a result, when there is a new part created in your part studio, you have to add it manually into your assembly. But here is a better solution. Within the insert dialog, select the insert part studio as rigid option, then choose the part studio to insert. This adds the entire part studio as a single entity giving you access to all parts and elements such as sketches, surfaces, and more. You can still hide, suppress, and export these as needed. Now in the Part Studio, if you delete or add new parts, those changes are automatically reflected in your assembly. As a result, any new parts will appear and the deleted ones will disappear. Additionally, the connections between the parts remain intact, so there is no need to reassemble them.